the American cyberpunk action film Alita Battle Angel, based on Japanese manga artist Yukito Kashiro's 1990 series Battle Angel Alita and its original video animation adaptation, broke records. It was a real blockbuster when it was initially released, and now the fans of the show are extremely enthusiastic for Alita Battle Angel 2. So stay with us and find out about Alita Battle Angel 2, latest news and everything we know. Artist named Kashiro created Alita Battle Angel 30 years ago. Kashiro's creation is something that inspires dreams. Alita Battle Angel 2 has had an enormous fan base, and even though a sequel is not going to happen that soon, Robert Rodriguez hasn't forgotten about the biggest supporters of the show who were eagerly waiting for one. Some sources also revealed that the next sequel may not happen at all. But the creator, Robert Rodriguez, confirmed that the subsequent sequel is for sure going to happen, even though the official date is not known yet. And his female protagonist and Alita is the universality of what the character is going through. Additionally, according to one source, Alita Battle Angel 2 release date may occur in 2023 or 2024. Because 20th Century Fox ceased to exist, Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures presently governs the distribution of 20th Century movies. Once Collider asked Christopher Waltz about Alita Battle Angel 2, on which he stated it was made by the film Fox, which no longer exists. Now it's Disney's turn. He said something Alita 2 may not match the 20th Century Studio Disneyfication, but I have no idea, says the director. I haven't heard anything. In the meantime, you tell a story, ultimately, so people can enjoy it. And I hope they do, if they are affected by it enough, that they would take the time to go and start a campaign. That's like the next level," he declared for discussing film. It's so impressive and heartwarming because you went and did that really because you also loved the material the same way, and you felt it was worth the number of years you're going to put in to make it. It wasn't the perfect time to come out with it, but the fans still didn't let anyone forget that they loved that movie. It's almost better than having a movie that does well but no one remembers in 6-8 to eight years. After Alita Battle Angel released, Disney terminated Fox's acquisition, and from that moment on, it is going to be Disney that will decide whether the movie is going to obtain a sequel or not. Maybe it doesn't fit into the Disneyfication, but I have no clue. I have no clue. Maybe they're working on something and I wouldn't be the first person to hear. But meanwhile, I haven't heard anything," stated Christopher Walt. This followed on from lead star Rosa Salazar's comments in July 2019 that she hadn't heard anything about a sequel. But Rodriguez didn't lose hope and said in December 2020 that anything is possible. I know other people would love to see another, and I would love to do another. As far as where it would go or how it would be made, I think streaming has opened up many opportunities such as sequels," he told Forbes. It's already a pre-sold concept. It's already got a built-in audience that wants to see it, and then it's delivered to them in a way that's the easiest for them to consume. Rodriguez and James Cameron signed up for the sequel, and the first film set up one. Digital Spy told the pair when the theatrical release happened what a potential forthcoming movie is about to bring and what to expect out of it. The film is planned to be a complete story. Alita is losing her loved one, Hugo, but with that, she understands herself way clearer than before and somehow finds her place in the world, becoming motorball champion and tries to return to the mystical city Zalem and its governor Nova. There is a whole scene connected to motorball that didn't make it in the concluding cut. The producer John Landau said to Cinema Blend, there was a training sequence that we shot in an alley. Hugo is teaching her how to street motorball, that's the only significant scene. If we put the array scenes on the side, it's more than obvious that Rodriguez and Cameron had the plan for the movie to be a whole arc as such. She now knows who she is and she's got a target, and it's still a complete story with a beginning, middle, and end," added Rodriguez. But with the ongoing enigma surrounding Alita's century-old life, Cameron noted that those who haven't been entirely explained in Yukita Kishiro's initial manga, this content is taken from YouTube. Well, we have a plan for that, he told us, but it's cheeky to set up a sequel before you're proven. That can blow back in your face. We think of something like Warcraft that was set up to do sequels, and then it becomes mockable because the film doesn't succeed. But I don't worry about stuff like that. If the film fails, if it's punishment, you know? It doesn't matter if we get mocked on top of having failed. Does it bother you that I'm not completely human? You are the most human person I have ever met. So there are serious questions that were left unanswered. What happened to Alita? How did Zalem survive the fall? And of course, what is the city actually like? 
Rodriguez proclaimed that Cameron said to him that he wouldn't forward all the 1,000 pages of notes. I'll send you like 600, Rodriguez quoted, thinking that Cameron was joking before 600 pages of notes on the Alita script arrived in the post. There's like one whole document about the trilogy, said Rodriguez, because that's just part of his process. Here are three movies, just so you know what to include in the first story and what not. And on the question of who is coming back for the second part, Rosa Salazar is for sure going to be back as the well-known Alita, and that's not only because she's the main character, but also because she adores it so much. I would play Alita till my last breath, she said. I would, and thanks to the performance capture technology, I probably could. We can hope that Christopher Waltz is going to be back as Alita's surrogate father, known as Dr. Dyson Ito, who is also a scientist and on top of that, a bounty hunter. Actually confirmed his return for a sequel. I haven't heard anything and I'm a little disappointed and surprised that I haven't heard a thing so far, because I know that it has followers, he said. I know that people liked it and aside from what others said, I loved it and I liked working on it and I liked the result. Edward Norton is probably also coming back with his role as the puzzling Nova after being established at the actual end of the film. Rodriguez was honest and said that Nova was not that easy to cast, as his appearance is really set up for the sequel. On top of that, Battle Angel 2 cast Norton because they thought he is a perfect combination to execute their imagination through his role. Clive Lee was in the initial script, but unfortunately was eliminated. I figured we should save him for a sequel, stated the director. So with that, it is clear that we are about to see the character in the sequel, but it is not clear who is going to play that role. About the Alita Battle Angel 2 footage, we can say that there is no one yet, and we should be patient and just wait for the right time for that part to happen. So let's now focus on one thing at a time and expect that Disney reveals the sequel first. Due to Landell, there is only one way to force the studio into creating a sequel. What I think the Alita Army should do is keep peppering our family now at Disney and let them know how important it is to have another Alita movie and hopefully we'll venture there one day," he stated. Then he added, You've got to assume that's going to take you 12 to 18 months to write a script. Assuming that script is great, you then have 6 to 10 months of pre-production. You then have a 6 month shoot. You then have a year of post-production. And that's just any movie of this like. On a related note, we wanted to know which part was your favorite one from our video? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.